invite all of our children or anyone who just wants a better seat to come forward and sit on the ground or around the steps right here with me, okay? Come on up. Are you going to come up? You're going to sit right there? Perfect. Good morning. How are you all? Great, great. So no Sunday school today, but you get to listen to me. So I, I don't know if you think that's a good, a good deal? All right, all right. Well, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the story I just read. But first, I'm going to talk to you about what we talked about last week. And I'm not sure whether you talked about the same thing. But we talked last week about the disciples. And they were fighting with one another. You know what they were fighting about? So you guys talked about the same thing. Yeah. We, were, we were talking about the disciples, and they were fighting about who was the best. They said, I'm greater than you are. Oh, no, I'm better. No, I'm better. Have you ever been in an argument like that? Maybe. Maybe. Have you ever heard anybody arguing like that? Yep. We kind of do that sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird because I think we're supposed to do our best. Raise your hand if you think God wants you to, to do your best. Raise your hand if you know that God gave you special gifts and wants you to use them to the best of your ability. Absolutely. But does that mean that God wants us to make other people feel small? No. 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 So you can be your best. You can be the best you you can be without telling somebody else, I'm better than you are, right? Yeah. All right. Man, you got a cast, huh? And so this week, Jesus is trying to help his friends uh, grow even more, and he's talking to them about something else. You know what else people do sometimes? Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they're, help, they're helping to build them because then, then, then more people will be like, oh, this is actually very talented. Who would allow some people to do that and start growing? So it's kind of talking about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I hope you all heard all that. So it's just, <laughs> that's, well, I did. So I've been preached to today. Excellent job. So, yes. So uh, you're right. They were trying uh, to stop people from talking about Jesus. And they said, they're not in the club. Have you ever heard that before? You can't be in our club. Yeah. 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 Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we like to feel like we're in the in crowd, like we're in a cool group. And then we, but sometimes to make us feel better, we say, you're not in the cool group. But how do you think that makes that person feel? Bad. Left out. Absolutely. And you know what? I. Angry. Mm-hmm. All those things. So you know what? I, you know how many times I've moved in my life? 20 times. I moved like every other year because my, my dad was in the Navy, and so we moved around a lot. And one of the nicest things that people ever did to me was when I moved to a new place, they would say, come and be my friend. You know, that makes you feel pretty good, right? When you're new to a town and you're new to a school and someone says, come on, be, in my, be with my group of friends. I got a great group of friends, and they'd love to spend time with you. It makes you feel like a million dollars, right? Yep. But you know what I would do? And this is, I'm not proud to say this, but then what if somebody else came in and they wanted to be part of the group too. Part of, part of me, part of me thought, you know, are they going to take my place in the group? And if they're in the group, does it make me less special? You know, sometimes we have thoughts that aren't, aren't necessarily the things we're proudest of. Um, but I think that's what the disciples were doing. The disciples were so, so blessed that Jesus said, I see something special in you, and I want you to be my close friend. So why don't you stop fishing or stop being a tax collector or stop doing whatever you're doing and come and follow me. And how do you think that made them feel? Special. Rewarded. Rewarded. Yep. And so we have two choices to make when we feel special like that. We can try to hold on really tight to that feeling and not let anybody else in. Or we could say, you know what? It was the most amazing day of my life when Jesus said, you're special and I want you to follow me. Why don't I invite them to follow, follow Jesus too? Yeah, that's what I think you do. That's what you do mm -hmm. And when I moved, when the best thing for me to do to be like, you know how awesome it was when I moved to town and people made me a, a, their friend? I should want to share that with other people. But sometimes we need to be reminded of that because it's not always that easy. And so I think that's what the gospel was about. About Jesus saying... One of the most important jobs you have is not ever to say you're in and you're out, but to say God's love is so big, there's room for everybody, and I am so glad that I know God loves me that I want to share it with somebody else. And I think that's the best thing that we can do 
as, as people who, who know God loves them is to help other people know God loves them. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. You think that's what the gospel was about? Yeah. All right. If it passed your test, I'm going to say, say that's what it means, right? Yeah. All right. Are we ready to say amen? Amen. Um, All right. Let's do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Amen. Thank you all very much. And you guys can go back to your seats.